guys, before we get started on showing you guys the new trucks, I'm gonna show you a truck I would say is by far my favorite here in the parking lot. Is the old beast right here. We call this Red Bull. We're gonna go ahead and start her up right now. Okay, so I'm here at work. I have a 2019 GMC Sierra and what makes it an AT4? I have my man Mike Love here. He's gonna explain to me first off what an AT4 is because honestly I have no idea. And we're gonna compare the similarities and the differences between the 2019 Chevrolet Silverado, which is a half ton, and then the AT4, both six two liters or is that a five? That's gonna be one of the major things that makes that the GMC has over the Chevy in this. But what makes an AT4 is this. AT4 is essentially it's above an SLT, but not quite to the, the Denali level. So it's the guy that it's for the guy that wants to be in the Denali, but wants an off-road capable vehicle. So the difference is being the AT4 has a two-inch lift kit on it, it has its own specific shock, its own specific truck shock, and it is available with the uh, Goodyear Wrangler Zero Track tire. So what you're saying is, is that this actually has a two-inch lift kit on it already factory okay so what we're gonna do guys is we're actually gonna get both trucks up on the lift and I'm gonna show you the differences I think this is gonna be kind of interesting so I have the hoist set right now we're gonna go ahead and pick up both trucks right now and then I'm gonna show you the differences on the two okay so now that we have these up in the air I did I definitely wanted to point this one out to you guys the uh, 2019 the way this is set up is stock with a two inch, I guess, lift or leveling kit. From what my understanding or what I'm noticing here is there's no leveling kit or there's no lift blocks right here. From what it looks like, they have a longer traveling sort of shock or strut assembly right here, which I think is a lot cleaner. And then in the back here, they have lift blocks right below the leaf spring. Okay, so if we were to go right here to the 2019 Silverado, as you guys can tell, this is a lot smaller. There's really not much to it. And you guys can tell that when both vehicles are actually on the ground, the AT4 sits a lot taller. Well, I don't say a lot taller, but definitely sits up taller. As you guys can tell, there's no lift blocks underneath the leaf springs. So that's basically what you're gonna get when it comes down to you purchasing an AT4. Um, previously we had, we had, you could do a leveling kit, and the leveling kit was actually a, a disc that went on the top of the strut mount. So it would've been up. You wouldn't have been able to see it from here, but it would have been on the very top here instead. Mm -hmm. This one, instead, you do have a longer shock, a larger diameter shock. This it uses, still uses the same spring, but just by lengthening the shock and uh, in this assembly, that's that's where you get your lift out of the front on this one. The rear, you can see here, the difference being there is just a lift block, and then they also have a block here on the bump stop. If you go back and look at the, uh, at the one belt that yeah, on it. Yeah, and I looked at that. So you'll notice that the, uh, so here you have just a shim, no, no lift block, and then uh, no extra block on top of the bump stop here on the rear. There's the same size head on the shock here, but the diameter of the shock is smaller on the standard truck. Mm -hmm. And then of course the length, if you see just the length from the bottom of the spring here. It's a lot the, shorter. That's your, that's your extra length on the front. So this one here, this is about a $62,000 sticker on this truck. Uh, as compared to about 55 on the Chevy High Country, or the Chevy uh, Trail Boss that we're gonna look at it later. And I have pictures of all these for you too. So. So I'm gonna ask this, this question to you again, GMC or Chevrolet? Man, this time I gotta say GMC because in the in the 4 you can get the 6.2 liter. Uh, so you cannot, you can only get a 5.3 in the trail box. Yeah, but, oh, I get it, but we're talking the looks. This looks, I still like the Chevrolet front end better, but I like this a lot better than I do the Denali or the SLT. Wow. Uh, the, the, I think those two have just way too much chrome on the front. Forget all this nonsense. We got a Z06 right here. Supercharged. Bet you this isn't cheap. Eighty-three thousand dollars. I got that. No big deal. Hey, Mike, sell me a uh, Z06 2019 Corvette. You want one, baby? All right. $86,000 Yeah, man. It's just money. That was ready before. Okay. And then turns into a step here. 
So this is where the magic happens. The bald eagles. So, thanks to one of your uh, fact-checking internet trolls, I misspoke myself on the when you went, when you went, thought it was a big black and I said it was a small black 427. It is not. It is about 376 cubic inches. It is not actually even 6.2. It's 6.156 or something like that. So we round up. Yeah, we round up a little bit. The, uh, but it's still it's the same uh, same small block, small block design as before. This is the L87. The previous 6.2 would have been the L86. Uh, the 5.3s are the L84 and the L83 L83 and L84 now is the new one with the uh, active fuel management on it. I'm the first guy that has one of these. Supercharged. Supercharged. There you go. 62 liter. Yeah, let's. You know what? That's a good idea. We got to take that one and put the pieces in this one. Let's do it. Because. 6.2, right? 6.2, yep. Oh, man. So there are some other differences. The 6.2 in that one is a lower compression. This is 11 and a half to one. I believe that's only nine and a half to one. When you have the power adder on there, that higher compression wouldn't work out for you. So you would have to do some other changes in this end to, to supercharge it. And okay. you're gonna run like race fuel all the time. Can we just start the Corvette? Yeah, Let's do it, Marka. Let's start the Corvette, guys. <laughs> is it, an awesome, uh, are the keys in it? Ah. How is the Corvette dead? I'm sitting here. Oh, we got some life. Here, give me the keys. Let me see. No, she's dead. I don't think it's going to work. I bet you we hit the button to this place. Here's the video I need to do is uh, how to properly store your Corvette. Because if you leave them sit like this for too long, the battery goes dead. Oh, she sounds nice. You know what we need to do, Mike? I think we need to take that 6.2 and then, whoa, what, how are you doing that? So here's your tour mode. Okay, what's tour, like, where's the button at? So touring mode, you have your drive select right here on the, on the Z06s? Yeah. Sounds pretty nice, right? Yeah. Now watch this, we switch it over to sport mode. Dual mode exhaust. Sounds really good. Oh. Oh, okay. Mike, are you sure you don't want to just give me a discount on a Corvette? It could be yours. Oh, what's that do? incredible actually what's kind of slick on it is you can take the top off and it sits down inside here oh man so that's america look at all the extra extra goodies you get in there though check this out you got your this has got the performance brake package so extra duct work uh, if you're going to take it to the track to uh, get a little extra that cooling with the, it yep okay extra okay cooling for your front brakes we need to stop right now like <laughs> we need to stop this is a separate video right here we need to stop you guys leave in the comment oh did i just fall off you're good you guys leave in the comments if you guys want to see me do a cool video on a, on a Z06 supercharged Corvette is I want to do one. Maybe yes. even bring my Duramax right next to it and we'll do a sound comparison. LBZ versus Z06 sound comparison. I want to see the sound comparison between this and the 6.2 where you just drove over here. Let's just do it, man. Let's, let's, see, that, let's see that high country. That should be good, right? That should be good. So what we got going on here, Josh? This is a this is a really stupid comparison, but they are both six two liters. So um, we're gonna start it up. We're gonna rip it up. This is this is gonna be interesting. So so I'll let you do the honors. Here's the keys to one. Oh okay. All right.
I still wouldn't trade my Duramax for it. Yeah. Would you trade your Duramax for a Z06 Corvette? In a second. Let me have here one day. A wrecked Corvette? Yeah. Like that? Red Z06, the guy hit a curb with it. He spun out one sideways, hit the curb with it, and it actually totaled the car out because it pushed the front suspension back a little bit. Wow. I was like, eh, you know what? That's $50,000 for a wrecked car. I think he wants to race. I'm not sure. No, we're not running him. <laughs> okay, we'll run him. 5 3 versus 6 2 liter. Yeah, I'm pretty sure my boss is watching this one, so I'd rather not lose my job. But anyways, uh, guys, more to come. I, I'm ha I just This is a great opportunity to have a little bit of fun at work, show you guys my experiences. So I'm constantly in the shop getting dirty, working with everybody, learning a lot. So I want to ex you know, basically expand your knowledge on what I know. Of course, that's what this video, what this channel is all about. But you guys have a great day. I appreciate you watching the videos. Make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed the content, and I will see you on the next video. Take care.